Hello, my many YouTube lear friends. Uh, this is Milo34. I'm really excited that we're going to be bringing Cleo Mods out. I don't know why this video is automatically playing, but it is. Anyways, um, I thought that maybe it would be a good idea, since we're bringing out a new kind of modification, to bring out an automatic installer. Um, no real reason why behind this besides organization. So, uh, let's pause this. Let's just jump right into this and get this done. Uh, all of our new mods now are going to be having this and are, yeah, gonna are gonna use this feature. So for this Clio, this is the first Clio that's come out with this. Um, it's the control P parachute thing, and you'll see that in that video that we were just playing. Come on, save it to the desktop, please. Audio thing. So I just drag the drag or run the installer. I'll drag it so I can show you that it comes with a really, really awesome icon. Totally awesome. Blows your mind. Click it twice. And this is my licensing agreement. Um, you don't want to republicize any of my stuff without asking me first. Being that it's legal stuff. Yeah, it's a uh, whole nother can of worms you don't really need to get into. So click accept. C program files, modifications, my 34 modifications folder, slash Clio. Now this will change depending on what kind of mod you're downloading. If it's going to be a vehicle, it's going to be slash um, GTA 3.ing slash vehicle, uh, stuff like that. So it kind of helps you out um, in organization. And, um,. Yeah, it'll kind of explain to you, okay, this is going to go here, this is going to go here, this is going to go here. So for any slash Clio folder, it's going to go into slash Clio. Now this isn't mandatory. If it's a Clio folder or a folder that is just drag and drop naturally, you can just place it inside of wherever you have your San Andreas file. Right into that Clio. But, um, so I can build up my directory, my, uh, my mods folder because I don't have a mods folder for all my stuff this is a good idea so there's our GTA modifications and you can see that we have a Clio folder there now being that this is the first file that's going to be in here click that twice drag over both of those copy and then you can also just paste it over there the nice thing about this installer is it automatically updates your files so anytime you get a new folder um, with new mods in it and a new installer, uh, it'll automatically replace these two with a brand new one. Um, that means that you're not going to have any problems with files cluttering up stuff. Or in theory, anyways. I, I don't know how you organize your, your computer. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's really simple. <laughs> the hard stuff was getting this to work. Thanks again for watching, guys. Um, Yes, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to stop recording now. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy this mod and all my other Cleos. Oh, I'm going to be getting the fires script out. So y you can walk through fires as you've seen at the beginning of that video. As well as the uh, markers one. Unfortunately, the markers Cleo is not going to have a teleport script feature in it. Because I, I couldn't figure out how to get that to work. I had it before, but... I don't know, it, it's just not working anymore. I did it the same way.